Good morning, everyone. Yep, it's me again, and today is the last day that we are going to work with. Let me get it. Our bubbly. Yep, and I still have some. Hmm. I guess I could make. Well, there goes my lid. Clumsy me. Anyways. I guess I could make a bigger batch, but I'm not going to. I will just freeze that, put it in the freezer, and you never know what I got up my sleeve. One day I just might want to make whatever. So, this is the last, and it is going to be the lotion. And just like with the, um, the cold process soap, it is going to be champagne and oatmeal. So, I'm going to use Kaleido oatmeal so we don't get any grit in it. And I am going to use the wine powder like I did with the cream. So, I think that's probably about it. Oh, and of course, aloe vera juice instead of distilled water because we are not heating up the champagne, you know, to kind of minimize. Minimize? Yeah, there you go. Um, the alcohol in the champagne really doesn't matter. Like I said, I, <laughs> I, I do not follow the rules, but I just don't go through that part. I just throw it in there. So with the aloe vera juice plus the champagne, you know, voila, you don't have to worry about it. So let's get on with the last part of this adventure and thank you very much for staying with me. I don't know what we're going to do next, but we'll do something. Okay, hang on. Okay, I have everything scrubbed and bleach, bleached, and then of course with my um, isopropyl alcohol, I got that on. All right. Here's my aloe vera juice. It's about the same thing that we did with the cream. Just throwing it all in there together. Here's my bubbly. And we're going to add that in there. And let's see. Oh, something new. Well, <clears throat> my oils are going to be apricot kernel oil. Oh, yes. Very good for your skin. Very light. Absorbs very quickly. So it's the same process, just a few different uh, switcheroos, if you will, on oils. So there's the apricot kernel oil. And of course, the sunflower oil with the vitamin E. I'll put that in there. And the new one. The new one on the block. I'm trying to think here. That right there is my Icy Propyl Mare State. How about that? I said it. Okay. This is the new one on the block. Instead of the butter, this is uh, Shea Oil. Of course, it goes through, you know, and it makes it very thick. But what's nice about this and using it in um, lotion is that it's just very easy to absorb and creamy. Oh, yeah. And I can add it all in there at once. Yep. Um, and sometimes shea butter gets a little gritty or whatever with the temperatures and it wants to be little stinkers. This is a nice alternative. I still love my shea butter, but I got this for using it in lotions. The lotion potions. And I'll put the isopropyl Maristate in at the end. This all goes 
into the microwave. And again, here is my e-wax, my emulsifying wax. Um, I have silky, smooth, smooth, silky, what was that one? Anyway. And silky <laughs> and that's an ounce and I also as you know I put the 0.9 ounce of the uh, stir citral alcohol I put that in there just kind of gives it a more of a bond and steric acid put that in there Let's see. And I have my colloidal oatmeal. And I have the wine powder. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put the wine powder in, yes. And I'll put the um, colloidal oatmeal in after I melt all of this. So this is all going in to be heated and melted and then I will bring you back but I think I'm going to speed it up so it's not going to be 20 something minutes long so, I will pause you and then I'll speed it up all right I think we all got the same thing that this hillbilly does every we are through this champagne um, little series. So, if you just started out and you didn't see all it, go back and look at the um, making the champagne body cream. That will help you understand what I'm doing here.